Good afternoon, everyone. Absolutely beautiful day here in Arkansas. Today is going to be an end. Look at how warm it is. The uh, exhaust fan actually turned on. Kind of warm in here, actually, a little bit. Today should be an interesting day. Uh, should be a simple project. We are changing out the chassis batteries. Get some lights on and go around to the other side of the RV. I have already purchased the batteries and the chassis batteries go in there behind the house batteries. That's what we're working on today. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we got the camera going. Uh, first thing I did was make sure the main disconnect was disconnected and we are not plugged in. Do that because we're going to be working with the batteries. They are only 12 volt. I'm not worried about getting zapped myself. I just don't want to be shorting things out. I'm still going to take extra caution because what I've read on the forum is there are some connections between the house batteries and the chassis batteries and I should be expecting a spark, so we'll see. Um, on the Jayco Seneca, the battery tray is in here. And that's all the way out. Um, we have four house batteries in here that came, well, actually these, I replaced these house batteries uh, last year. They were flooded batteries. I replaced them with AGMs. And I've added, I don't know if you can see them in there, but I've added two extra batteries. I did that years ago with some, well, when they were still flooded, but I now have a total of six AGM batteries for the house. And here in the very back are the two chassis batteries that we're going to be working on. I'm going to bring this up here and let's take a look. Okay, so there's the two extra batteries I added. There's the four house batteries. These two batteries back here are what we're taking out. And it looks like I'm going to have to take some of these out in order to get these. Looking at this arm, I don't see how I'm going to lift those out of there. The door handle, maybe I can just take the door handle or uh, hinge off. But there is a single uh, threaded post for the positive and one in the back for the negative. Um, here's the new batteries that I'm putting in. Single threaded post. So the batteries I went with are the Duracell. I got them at Sam's. They're about 134 bucks a piece uh, with core charge. So these are the ones that are going to go in here to replace the chassis. They're commercial, the 31 C's. C being the center post, commercial being 950 cranking amps which is what the Jayco Seneca needs. Again, the uh, choice of going with Duracell, um, there's three, I think there's three major manufacturers of batteries left in the United States, and that would be Exide, Interstate, and Johnson Control. The Duracell are made by Exide. There's um, nothing wrong with Exide batteries, so that's the ones I'm going with. The typically batteries when you buy them, you're buying either warranty or by price because they're all going to be basically the same, especially on the commercial side. And on the commercial side, everyone I've talked to, it's only a one year replacement battery, anyhow. So I'm going to start digging into this mess. I have a feeling and I'm kind of afraid of it. I'm going to have to remove some of these batteries to get to those batteries. We'll see how it goes. Okay, one thing I did when I changed out my house batteries from flooded to AGM is I'm following the same numbering scheme. Uh, closest to me and left, terminal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So what I do is every wire that is coming to terminal 1 is labeled with a piece of tape with the 1. Every wire going to terminal 2 is labeled with two, et cetera, et cetera. Four, seven, eight, 10, 11. Um, I did not label these guys only because I'm only planning on pulling these two batteries, which will allow me to slide these batteries out and replace them and slide them back in. So now I'm going to start disconnecting everything. And as I take the positives off, I am going to tape everything up and move them aside so that they don't short out anything. My plan is just disconnect this and this, hang this big negative wire over the side, 
this big positive wire here, tape them up and hang them over the side. The jumper positive, tape them and hook them back here. Negative jumper, hook them back over here. And that should be able to allow me to get to these guys and slide them out. That's the plan, let's see how it goes. Okay, let's start disconnecting. Not like disconnecting batteries, but it needs to be done. This is just safety precaution. Just throwing a bunch of electrical tape on the positive. Trick I learned a long time ago when wrapping up with electrical tape, when you're all done, fold the last half inch over so you know where to start when you go to start untaping. this tray sanded it all down cleaned it all up and repainted it and that was last year and it looks like it's holding I see a lot of dust and dirt in there but it looks like it's holding and not getting all rusty again are disconnected. Let's see if I can get them out of there. <clears throat> By the way, the date on this one says 817. So that was August of 17. This is February of 23, so 817 to 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 5, and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Five years and eight months on these batteries.
Yeah, this one is 817 as well. <clears throat> say 223 negative in the back positive in the front are not light. <clears throat> okay. They are physically in place. Now we need to start putting it all back together. chassis batteries, number 11, he's back on. Number 7, all these wires are all back on. 8, there was nothing extra over there. 4, I have the jumper and one extra, and then 1, the jumper and these. And that should be it. I'm going to check pictures that I took beforehand to make sure I didn't miss any wires. That was a pretty quick, easy chore. All right, so here's the two batteries that I just pulled out. I am curious, uh, by the way, these batteries are the ones that go back to Sam's for my core charge. But I'm curious. We're going to throw a tester on these real quick. Just because I can. Yeah, that is showing good. It's showing 12 volts but just 12 volts, not 12.6. So let's throw a load on it. Bad, <laughs> way into the bad. Again, for 12 volt, it's showing 12 volts, but nothing over 12 volts, just 12. And I throw the load on it. And you can see it comes way down here in the bad. That's why these things just got changed. Okay, just put the new batteries in, 
One thing I want to do is I want to make sure they're fully charged before I do anything. So I'm plugging the coach into a 50 amp circuit. Turn on a 50 amp clunk breaker. Turn on the main disconnect. Everything should be on. And once the house batteries are fully charged, it should start charging the chassis batteries to make sure they're fully charged. One more thing I do whenever I leave the RV plugged in for an extended period of time to charge the batteries is I open this door. Yes, my house batteries are AGM and they should not be doing fumes, but the chassis batteries are back there. And I open the door, even though it's open underneath, I open the door anyhow, just because I can. Okay, there you go, job done. There's the old batteries. I gotta need to take those back to Sam's to get my core charge. Basically, um, I replaced the house batteries last year, pulled out the flooded and put in AGM. Uh, this year, the last couple times I went to go start the coach, I had to use the auxiliary start button in order to steal juice from the house batteries to get the engine to start. So I knew they were going bad, and I do have a load tester. I threw a load tester on it and um, checked it, and they were basically bad, just like I just showed you. Um, whole job took me probably less than an hour. Um, I probably spent more time on the computer researching battery manufacturers and uh, pricing online before I decided to go with the Duracell, which are made by Exide. Um, and bought it from Sam's, one-year warranty, just like all the other places, only have a one-year warranty on commercial batteries. And the batteries were $134 a piece, so not too bad. That's what I went with, the whole job took about an hour. So if you have any questions, uh, comments, thoughts, please put in the comments down below. Also, please subscribe. I don't know if you waited all the way to the end. If you did, thanks for watching the whole video. Uh, but please subscribe, comments, like, etc. I will answer any questions you all have. Thanks. Hope you all have a great day.